Good evening. The driver accused of killing a boy outside the River of Lights, then bolting from Mexico, will remain behind bars until trial. He asked a judge this afternoon to let him out. It didn't take long for the judge to say no. Here's News 13, Stephanie Chavez. Jess Sergio Almanza argued he's a victim of publicity and promised he won't flee the country again. But Judge Stanley Whitaker pointed out that Almanza had already agreed to stay behind bars and couldn't change his mind now. I don't think that Mr. Almanza, in all due respect, gets to stipulate to the uh, determination of dangerousness and detention uh, when there was an opportunity to present evidence to the contrary. Um, and now, on a motion to reconsider, change his mind and want to uh, now present uh, a response. Police say Almanza sped through a red light back in December near Central and Tingley in his ATV, hitting and killing seven-year-old Pronoy Batacharia, who was in a crosswalk. After the crash, Almanza fled to Mexico. He was arrested more than a month later near the border. Originally, Almanza did not fight the state's request to hold him until trial, but earlier this month, his new attorney asked a judge to reconsider. In the motion, he promised he would not drive again and asked for house arrest. But it wasn't an argument he was allowed to make today. On all due respect, I understand that we're different counsel, but that's that's not that's not here nor there. Uh, I think the, the the parameters have to be very clear because uh, if if the desire is to rehash what could have been hashed um, at the hearing uh, in this case, but was uh, was waived by the stipulation, we're, we're not going back to revisit that. Almanza's attorney did argue that he had since been accepted to live in a sober house and had a job waiting for him. Judge Whitaker said he did not think that was relevant enough to change the outcome of the prior decision. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Stephanie. Almanza does not have a trial date yet.